it up for Trina! Americans, stop protesting. I saw that video on Facebook the other day. It's a video of a woman in San Diego, along with a group of protesters who are protesting the government. But why are they protesting? These people in the middle of a pandemic are pissed off at the government for telling them to stay inside in order to save more lives. We are founded on freedom, they like to say. The saddest part about this is, I live in the Philippines right now, and I see so many of my Filipino friends sharing this, asking why. Wh what's going on in America? Why are Americans like this? Some of the comments include, and I quote, so sad. Yeah. What's in their mind? I don't know. So embarrassing. I can't believe these people. Neither can I. Complete idiots. Hit the nail on the head. And my personal favorite, Freedom is futile when you're six feet under the ground. That sums it up. I talked with my girlfriend about it last night and she said, it just seems like those people are really privileged. I couldn't agree more. It's privileged to worry about freedom when there's bigger things happening in the world, like saving lives. And it's not like they can't support their families. The government gave them a $1,200 check. Each and every adult in the United States gets a $1,200 check. The more time I spend away from America, the more I realize that we're just a bunch of spoiled brats. We can't handle it when our ability to go to Wendy's gets taken away. <laughs> I mean, in God we trust forbid. Here's the thing, Americans are obsessed with freedom. We were founded on freedom. Freedom is as much a part of our culture as barbecue, fireworks, and attacking our enemies at midnight on Christmas. Now, I like freedom as much as the next American, but this isn't the Third Reich we're talking about. <laughs> this isn't tyranny. They're telling us to stay inside. It's not tyranny. What we're seeing here is this obsession with freedom being taken way too far to the point where they're endangering themselves <laughs> ironically enough, and they're endangering the ones that they care about the most. So many Americans love to say that the government is overstepping their boundaries as if we live in some Hunger Games scenario. Before, I used to love the idea of freedom. I used to love the idea that anyone can do whatever they want pretty much and the government needs to stay out of it. But now I'm starting to see that too much freedom is actually a weakness because freedom is addicting. It can get so addicting that you end up valuing freedom over human life. What the government is doing right now is the right thing. The American government is not going to enslave us all. You've been asked to stay inside for the last 30 days and the rest of the world is looking at you like, you can't even do 30 days? The petty temper tantrums that we're seeing from Americans right now is downright embarrassing for me. It's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing because I hate freedom. It's not embarrassing because I hate being an American. It's embarrassing because it's so, it's so obvious that this is not the, the highest priority right now. And the rest of the world knows that. The whole world seems to know how serious this is, while my friends and many of my countrymen seem to be more worried about the fact that they can't go to Wendy's whenever they want. And the weirdest thing is, they are only putting themselves at higher risk by going outside. They're, they're only endangering themselves and they're endangering their families as well. That's the most ironic part of it all. And they don't know it. Doesn't mean I hate America. Doesn't mean I hate freedom. I just hate the fact that so many Americans are putting other people in danger because of petty crap like this.